Tomal Sap is the largest freshwater lake in Southeast Asia, located in Cambodia. Around the lake, there are many floating villages where the village communities live in close proximity to the water. They rely on the natural resources of the lake, such as fish, water, and land, for their livelihood. The floating village communities in Tomosap live on floating houses typically made of straw and wood. They move along the lake according to the changing seasons. During the rainy season, the lake expands, and the floating houses are lifted higher to stay above the water surface. However, during the dry season, the water level decreases, and they have to move their houses to deeper parts of the lake. These communities depend primarily on fishing as their main source of income. They use small boats to fish in the lake and sell their catches for a living. Some floating village communities are also involved in agriculture and farming in the fields around the lake during the dry season. The daily lives of the floating village communities in Tomlesap are highly dependent on the surrounding nature and environment. They possess special skills and knowledge in dealing with the changing conditions of the lake waters. Despite living in challenging conditions and often lacking adequate access to basic facilities like clean water and sanitation, these communities sustain their lives through resilience and adaptation. In recent years, the development of tourism around Tomosap has brought both positive and negative impacts to the floating village communities. On one hand, tourism provides new economic opportunities for them, with increased income from selling fish to tourists and through boat services and simple accommodations. However, tourism also presents challenges, such as increased competition in managing the lake's natural resources and its influence on the traditional culture and way of life of the village communities. Overall, the lives of the floating village communities in Tomla Sap serve as a real example of human adaptation to a unique environment. Despite never having seen land in a literal sense, they have successfully created a harmonious community with the lake water, relying on natural resources to sustain their lives and preserve their cultural heritage.